Welcome to a short video about InSearch. This video has eight sections. A welcome and about us, our mission, our vision, our team, our services, our portfolio, and a contact us section. First, a welcome word from the president. And I'll read that for him. A lot has been said about different development efforts targeting the African continent. Many people and different development agencies advocate for different kinds of models. Our model targets education and not just any kind of education. You may wonder why education. We target the education that increases hands-on training for it is only through mastering the transformation of theory to practice that the African youth can master the process of applying knowledge gained in school school to empowering economic change on the continent. And who are we? We are InSearch, that is a short form for International Network for Research and Development. We meet mainly by telephone conferences and by using other web services. As such, our members originate from different parts of the world and source mainly from the African diaspora. We, however, welcome everyone, no matter the origin, who is out to make positive change in Africa through the use of science and technology. Our primary mission as such is to empower development in Africa by increasing the number of hands-on experts on the continent. And what has been the outcome for the past five years? We have supplied equipment for biomedical research to five laboratories in Cameroon. We've built a state-of-the-art laboratory for renewable energies in Cameroon. And we've organized seminars around the year to train postgrad students on skills for analyzing and communicating scientific data. Our mission globally is to create enabling environments for the nurturing of the next generation of African entrepreneurs who mainly will transform the continent by using ideas of science and technology. We therefore base our mission on increasing hands-on training in STEM subjects. We locate partners in the developed world and on the African continent and we source science and technology equipment from donors and from sponsors. We build call centers. In doing this, we identify partner institutes on which core laboratories can be built, which can be accessed by African students from across boundaries and from different African countries. We also provide great support to such call centers so that they become sustainable. We provide support in developing curricula for hands-on training over many years. We also provide opportunity for growth by partnering with local authorities and businesses to advocate for places in science and technology in economic development on the continent. Our vision, our vision is in the next five to ten years to see an Africa in which we'll have practice-driven schools, where we'll have core centers in which students from different countries who come and train in different aspects of science and technology and an Africa in which we'll have sustainable support from the diaspora in creating a viable network of knowledge and technology transfer environment. And we intend to see an Africa in which economic growth will be done within the framework of Africa's new scientific and technological revolution. Our team, we have a team made up of different experts. First here, our executive team. We have our executive team made up of a president, a vice president, and a treasurer. And next, the different sub-teams, and just name a few people and link them to specific departments so that you know what we do. The first is the biomedical team. And here we have people who are in pure medicine to people who are in biological research. This is the team that led to the transfer of biomedical equipment to Cameroon a few years ago. And they also take part on the ground on active seminars and on some conferences and teaching. The next team is the Renewable Energy Team, and this is the team that partners and lights up Africa. And this team look for opportunities on using renewable energy to transform the energetic ecology of the African continent. Another team we have is the Data Technologies Team, and here we are not sleeping on big data. The leader here is Akem, who is an expert in econometrics and has been looking in the past years on the banking and microfinance sector of Africa. And and we do not rely on building more teams that are going to lead to transformative environments on the African continent. What are our services? Here, a list of a few services. One, equipment donation. We intermediate a second life for used equipment. Two, call labs. We build call labs in Africa for the training of the next generation of experts and transformers. Three, curriculum development. We develop curriculum for Africa's technological renaissance. Four, hands-on skills. We organize 
organize regular seminars for teaching hands-on skills. Five lecturers. We maintain a database of engaged and voluntary lecturers who can from time to time lecture on specific topics on the continent. Six. Science and technology and Africa. We entertain life policy debates and think tanks on the transformative role of STEM in Africa. And next to our portfolio. Here is a picture of the donation of biomedical equipment to a lab in Cameroon. The next set of biomedical equipment donated to Cameroon. And this lab is found in Boya in Cameroon between West and Central Africa. Here a view of the biomedical lab and the next in Cameroon installing a lab for renewable energies and here is the installation after building up. This is a view of the lab and the people who were present during the installation and a couple of things that are found in the lab. We have a photovoltaic experimental trainer for students so that they could know what photovoltaic energy is and how they can be configured. Next, we have an experimental setup with different models which can be removed and put in just like a Lego game so that students could then, beginning from the experimental trainer, go a little bit closer to what is found in the real world. And here we have a real world photovoltaic setup that is going to power the whole laboratory. And in this case, we are ensuring that students learning about renewables are not sourcing energy from the main grid somewhere else. They should learn and live and go home with sustainable ideas about renewable energy. Next, we have a wind energy bench. And here, basically, students can simulate in the laboratory everything that can happen out in the field using wind energy equipment. Next, Next, we have a gas unit that can take water and convert it into hydrogen and oxygen that can be used as fuel. And here we have three solar thermal units and each of them could take 300 liters of water and heat them up to above 100 degrees centigrade within 20 minutes in the tropical sun. How do you contact us? You can contact us physically for we hold on-site conferences each year to talk about our projects. You can support us by meeting us with ideas, by telling us how we can get equipment, by donations or by donating you services, we'll appreciate whatever you bring to move forward our dream. You can also chat with us on our YouTube tutorial page and that is a place where you will go and you're sure to learn one new thing each day. And the last way to contact us is by sending us a mail from our webpage. We will appreciate your great suggestions on how we can empower our dream. We hope we've shown in this short video a couple of the great ideas that move our association. Please do not hesitate to join us if you are a dreamer and a transformer. We will appreciate. Goodbye.